things I kind of forgot from the original presentation is the abstractness of the finding the passion. Because I think for a lot of people, that's the hardest thing to do is to yes. figure out what the heck is whatever. Especially yes. for a young person that doesn't even know what they want to do yet. And just making uh, or thinking abstractly about what you love to do. Because you know, a lot of them say, well, I like to play video games. Well, what is it about a video game? Right. <laughs> you know? And it may be the solving the problem. Right. It may the be challenge. the adventure. It may be that you're almost telling yourself a story right. when you do the video game. It could be any of those things. It could be all of those things. You know, it could be that it's just so damn addictive that <laughs> you can't not. And then later you're kicking yourself in the butt because you didn't do things that you actually love more. Yeah, I have a 12 year old boy right now, and he's going through all those things with video games. Mm -hmm. He wants to, he's very talented ma uh, mathematically and in science and stuff, and he wants to learn to be a programmer, but he winds up playing playing video games because that's related to it and he loves stories and he loves adventure but he doesn't spend enough time developing the skills learning you know the deeper skills that would allow him to you know become a, a really crackerjack programmer at a young age so what if you're you know 30 something and you just kind of basically figured out you made a mistake you just weren't that passionate you develop you have all this work invested in developing tons of skills, you get paid good for it, but you know, you're, you're 30 something, you just, you just, I made a mistake, I don't really like to do this. Yeah. What, what do you recommend? Cut your losses. <laughs> okay. Seriously, so you're 30 something, you know, what you don't realize at 30 something, not at a gut level, is that you've got decades and decades of productive work. Right. Okay, I can say that, I'm 56. You know, and I had to discover my mission and my business. Just, just 40, 40 after years ago. After a major, you know, Crisis. personal financial disaster. Right. Okay. And if you're in your 30s and you discover, you know what? I hate what I do day to day. And there's a lot of us out there that have that feeling. Right. You know, if you discover that, cut your losses. Ask yourself, how can I take this skill set that I've built? and earn enough to make a living, even if it's barely make a living, and free up some of your time to begin to explore the things that you love. Right. You know, take some time. It's not one of those things that, you know, you're necessarily going to know in the first minute or two sure. you know, when you ask yourself those questions. Ask yourself things like, what do I do if uh, what would I do if I had a year? Right. If I had a year and no money problems, I could go where I want, do what I want, what would I do? Yeah. And if you look at all these things that you like to do, and you start asking yourself what's the common pattern. You don't want to get stuck on a specific, like, I want to be a writer. Okay, well, you can be a copywriter, you can be an advertising writer, you know, you can write novels, you can write technical books, you can write biographies, you can be a ghostwriter and not really have ideas of your own, but be really good at taking somebody else's ideas and couching and putting them together, making them sound nice. You know, there's a million different ways to be a writer, you know. So you can't just look at a skill set that you enjoy and go, okay, I love this, because you'll find yourself off. Target. Right. So, if you're looking at it from the abstract perspective, your best clue is what are the things you do, and what are the things you would like to do if you weren't afraid of doing it. 